Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I will show you how to connect your OBI device to Anvio using zip credentials so that you can continue using your OBI device without the obitalk.com portal. Anvio posted a few articles explaining how the Obitalk portal shutdown is affecting Anvio and Google Voice users. Because of the Obitalk portal shutdown, Google Voice will no longer work with OBI devices, but Anvio will continue to work with OBI devices even after the shutdown. You can find the links to the obtalk.com portal shutdown announcement, Anvio statement, and Anvio's guide on how to connect your OBI device to Anvio in the description below. Let's get started. For this video, I will be following Anvio's instructions linked in the description below on how to connect an OBI device to Anvio using SIP credentials. In front of me, I have an OB200 that was previously connected to Google Voice, and I will show you today how to connect it to Anvio. For this, you will need your OB device, your phone connected to the OB device, a computer, a paperclip, and an Anvio account. First, make sure that your OB device is powered on and connected to the router with an Ethernet cable. Now, we need to reset the device. This is an important step because Google modifies a lot of the configuration parameters on the device that we need to reset. To reset the device, you will need to locate the reset hole on the bottom of the OB device. First, unplug the power from your OB device. Then, with a paper clip, depress the reset pin located at the bottom of the OB. While keeping the reset pin depressed, plug in the power cord. Continue holding the pin depressed for about 15 seconds. While you are depressing the reset pin, the power LED will first become solid green, then start to slowly flash green, and then after a few seconds, it will start to flash green rapidly and turn red, indicating that it is rebooting. Now we see it is flashing green slowly. Now it is flashing green rapidly. And now it is red, indicating that it is rebooting. After the LED turns green again, the device should be rebooted and reset. Now we need to access the OB High Device Manager. Make sure that the device is turned on and connected to the router. From a phone attached to the OB, dial star 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 to access the OB configuration auto attendant. When prompted, press 1 to hear the IP address of the OB High device. It should be some numbers between dots. Press 1 for basic network status. Basic network status. Your IP address is 10.0.0.5. Your B. After you hear the IP address, end the call and go to your computer. Open your favorite web browser and enter the IP address of the OB device that you just heard in the URL address bar. When prompted, enter admin for the username and admin for the password. If you already configured or have changed the login information before, use your changed login credentials instead. And we are in! We now see the OB device management interface. For security purposes, we recommend that you change your password by going to System Management, clicking Device Admin, and changing the Admin Password. Let's check that the Google Voice data is deleted by expanding Service Providers, ITSP Profile A, and clicking General. If the device correctly reset, you should not see anything here about Google Voice and all of the parameters should be set to default. If you see something about Google Voice, the device did not fully reset and you should try to correctly reset the device again. 
Now, let's configure the device. First, we need to disable Orbitalk Portal Auto Provisioning in order to make sure that there will be no conflicts between the changes that we make and the Orbitalk Portal. On the left, expand System Management and click Auto Provisioning. Check that Auto Firmware Update method is disabled. Then scroll down a bit and check that Orbitalk Provisioning method is also disabled. Click Submit at the bottom if you made any changes. Next, on the left, expand Voice Services and click Orbitalk Services. Uncheck the Enable parameter by first unchecking Default and then unchecking Value. Then click Submit at the bottom to save the changes. Now that we disabled Auto Provisioning, we can start to connect our device to Anvio. On the left, expand Service Providers, expand ITSP Profile A, and click General. Make sure that the signaling protocol says SIP. If not, uncheck the default check mark and select SIP. Then copy and paste the digit map that Anvil provided in the article, which is linked in the description below, into the digit map parameter. Be sure to copy and paste the whole line, including the parentheses. Scroll down and click Submit to save the changes. Next, on the left, again expand Service Providers, and then expand ITSP Profile A, and now click SIP. Into the proxy server, enter sip.anvio.com. Into the proxy server port, enter 5010. Into the registrar server, enter sip.anvio.com. And into the registrar server port, enter 5010. Then scroll down a bit and change the register expires to 360. Scroll down and click Submit to save the changes. The last part is to configure voice services. For this step, you will need your Anvio SIP username and password. To locate those, in a new tab, log into your Anvio account. Under the My Account menu, click Account Preferences. Then on the left, click SIP Device Registration. When you first see this page, you will see a button that says Activate SIP Access. Click the Activate SIP Access button and agree to the terms of use. After that, you should see the SIP device registration details like I have on the screen. Go back to your OB device management interface and on the left, expand Voice Services. In that expanded section, click SP1 Service. Scroll down to the Credentials section and in the Auth username, copy and paste the SIP username that you found on the SIP registration details page. And in the Auth password, copy and paste the password that you found on that same page as well. Make sure to keep your SIP username and password secret. Scroll down a bit and click Submit. And reboot the device. And that is it. To check that our device is connected, dial star 91 to access the echo test. We can also see that our device is connected to Anvio if we go back to our Anvio account SIP device registration page, refresh the page, go to the SIP device registration on the left again, and scroll down to the bottom to the SIP status section and see that our device is online. Also, we can go back to the dashboard and see that it is online there as well. For account security purposes, we recommend that you set your account to block calls to expensive calling destinations if you do not call internationally. To do that, go to the Account Preferences page again. On the left, click Call Security. Check the Block Calls with Call Rate More Than checkbox and type 0.01 in the input and click Update. If you want to sign up for Anvio's Residential OB High Package, Please read Anvio's article titled, An Orbitalk User's Guide How to Port Your Google Voice Phone Number to Anvio, linked down below in the description as well. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, visit our website at anvio.com, or reach out to us and we will gladly help you get set up.
As always, if you like this video and want to stay updated with Anvio, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.